Hello, my name is Diana de la Cruz Aparicio. My pronouns are she, her, and hers, and I am a retention specialist at the AAC, and I also coordinate our STEM Thrive program. Welcome to the STEM Thrive program overview, which we'll talk about in about less than five minutes, um, what your engagement with the STEM Thrive program will look like for spring 21. So welcome. So I want to start off with um, a welcome regarding what the program is. Um, so the STEM Thrive program is for students who have completed STEM Arrive and will now be engaging with STEM Thrive. Um, this program offers learning opportunities via workshops, panels, events, and other engaging activities throughout the semester and the following topics. So we focus on financial literacy, graduate school, research, um, career development, identity development, academic support. And all of these are really focused on STEM. And so um, this might sound familiar from Arrive, but we really take more of like a diver deep into this information. So what does engagement look like with STEM Thrive? So for a lot of folks who are coming into this program from Arrive, the biggest difference is that we offer a variety of community learning forums, which we call also CLIFs for short. Um, and we offer a variety of those. And students are to engage with two of these cliffs, aka workshops um, of your choice throughout the semester. So unlike a ride where you go through weekly um, seminars and it's more of a, like a long-term commitment, the STEM Thrive program offers a variety, but you choose two throughout the semester that you wanna engage with. Um, and so, like I said, these are community learning forums, also known as cliffs. And something important to know about um, STEM Thrive is that we use an evaluation um, to track virtual engagement slash attendance. So that will be really important for you all. And a lot of you all have um, some of that experience already with our other programs in the AEC from the fall. So where can students find the STEM Thrive information throughout the semester? So STEM Thrive students um, are gonna be directed to our AAC website, specifically the STEM Thrive webpage. Um, and this webpage includes the following information. So it includes cliff titles, cliff descriptions, the date that it'll be available, um, Zoom information. Um, if we have any pre-recorded clips from last semester, we um, we'll also let you all know on the website where those are um, and you'll see which ones are the live options and then we'll have that cliff evaluation link on our website as well. So this is just a screenshot of how to find that STEM Thrive webpage. So when you are at the on the CSU website, you'll um, search Academic Advancement Center and it'll take you to our homepage. This is our homepage. You'll click on current students here at the on the top, and then it'll give you a drop down menu option. You will click on STEM Thrive. As you can see, we have other programs that are very similar, but then we also have the STEM focused programs. And so you'll see Thrive, but your program is going to be STEM Thrive. So make sure that you are clicking on the right one. So this is the STEM Thrive page now. Um, so this is where you can find that cliff evaluation link. So this link is a link that you'll always use to um, provide an evaluation after you engage with your two seminars. So you should have two evaluations submitted for the two cliffs that you'll be engaging with. You'll see that we have the, on the bottom in the blue, we have dropdown um, categories, and this is where the cliffs are organized. So all of our financial literacy cliffs are under this section. All of our graduate school is down here um, and so on. We have some that were included in the screenshot, but you can take a look now to see what we have available for this semester. Some things to remember with your engagement this semester with STEM Thrive is that we have options in terms of live seminars, um, excuse me, live cliffs, and also pre-recorded options that we are pulling from last semester. So you choose based on the topic, really. That's what we encourage folks to, to do. Um, if there is, um, let's see. Actually, yeah, that's my one of my last reminders. Um, if there is a live cliff that you want to attend, but you cannot, um, just know that all live seminars 
um, excuse me, all life cliffs, that's a typo as well, uh, will be recorded and available on our website within 72 hours after it takes place. So by the end of the semester, everything should already be recorded and available for you to engage at your own time. Of course, if you are available for any of the life clips, we encourage you to attend the live sessions because engagement is so much different there. And if you have questions, that's a really good opportunity to engage with information. In terms of deadlines, um, students have until the last day of classes, uh, which is the Friday before finals, to submit the CLIF evaluations to receive credit. And so um, by 11.59 p.m., you have to submit those two CLIF evaluations. Um, we don't encourage you all to wait until the very end. We, we do understand that folks get really busy, which is why we wanna give you all the flexibility and access to recordings um, and live sessions as well. Um, so please look at the options, look at what really interests you, and then take a look at your calendar and see what you can make and what you can't and what you really wanna follow up in terms of recordings. So the last thing that I wanna talk about is just the communication piece. Um, and by communication, I mean, like, who are your resources? Um, and that will be myself and your retention specialist. So again, I am the STEM Thrive Coordinator. Um, here is my email. You will be receiving email reminders throughout the semester that um, just remind you about the upcoming um, cliffs that will be happening throughout the semester. So you'll be receiving that communication from myself. Um, we will also be using the AEC newsletter and social media platforms to include cliff flyers um, and reminders, things like that. Um, and just as a reminder, please connect with your retention specialist um, for all questions and concerns. Your retention specialist should have information about these programs. And so if there's any confusion in your meetings, please bring that up. Um, and I also encourage you to just reach out to me if you are confused about any of this information. Um, but that's all I have. This is a really short video that hopefully will be helpful throughout the semester in case you forget any information or you just need a quick reminder on like, what am I supposed to do with the STEM Thrive program? Um, please reach out if you have any questions and thank you all for engaging with this video. Welcome, we are so excited for you all to engage with the STEM Thrive program this semester with the AAC.